Hey, how's it going? This is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more exposure online. So currently I'm on the website for the Truckers Brotherhood, so uh, ttbnyc.com. So I like this nice animation right here. It's good you have a clear call to action as well to learn more. It's good you mention how you do like truck rental and leasing, factoring, financing, geo card savings, and about us page. So it's good you have a clear call to action. Like anytime you have a website, think to yourself too, like which of these services do you most want the user to contact you about? So do you want them to rent a truck, lease a truck, like factoring and financing, fuel card savings? Like you want to have a clear call to action. So you can make two buttons saying, okay, rent a, rent or lease a truck, fact, uh, get get financing and so on. You'll make sure too that the users have a way means to contact you as well too. So like it's always good to have a clickable phone number at the top left since the user's eyes always start there. And then when they make their way to the right, you always want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email. And right above that contact form, you want to say something like get free estimate or get a free quote to give them more incentives to fill out that contact form and reach you via email. We're going to a little bit more later too, but you, you want to have like more content on the home page as well. But here's what happens when somebody searches for commercial truck leasing in Staten Island, New York, where you are. First thing that we see, we're, we're right in the organic section. Usually whenever we're searching in a local area, the first thing that pops up is the map portion of Google where the top three spots get the most traffic. And 30% of that traffic goes to the maps while 70% goes to organic. But for now, we're on the organic side. So we got Penske Truck Rental is the number one. So that's like more of a directory. It'll go down, they have the top two. And then we got Budget Truck. Exclusive Auto NYC looks more like a car dealership. So right here, you see the map proportions. We got VIP Auto Lease, Exclusive Auto Leasing, as well as VIP Auto Lease of Staten Island. We're gonna look, take a look into GabrielleTruck.com because that one specific that page is specifically about truck rentals. We go down. See at the bottom right here, these are advertisements. These are people paying to be on page one. In a sense, they're renting that space. It's always better to own the space than it is to rent. So we're gonna take a look into some Google search stats. So page one accounts for 91.5% of the Google search traffic. Once you leave page one and hit page two, that traffic falls off all the way down to 4.8%. So if a business is not found on page one, it will be much harder for them to be found on Google. And 47% of the time a Google search is conducted, it is for a local business service of some sort. But not all traffic on page one is created equal. So you see here, like there's each spot gets a different share. So let's top three spots get the most traffic. And there's a huge difference between getting that first spot and that last spot. That first spot gets 30% more traffic than that last spot. If you get a top three local listing, map listing, to well, a uh, top three organic listing, you're going to have a lot of website visitors coming your way. The more website traffic you get will in turn lead to more phone calls, more customer inquiries. And then with that extra revenue you get from those extra clients or customers, you can use that to grow your business even further. And some companies have added tens of thousands, if not more, to the monthly revenue stream by having positions on page one. So let's take a look here. This is Gabrielli's truck page. This is our page all about uh, commercial truck rentals in New York. So you see there's like a lot of, they have a description like commercial truck rentals in New York, the commercial truck leasing. See they have all the different types of trucks like commercial trucks, box trucks, refrigerated trucks, dump trucks, flatbeds. And then just all about, yep, yeah, all about the, um, all about trucks. So and then they have all these locations on here too. So it's good to have a nice looking website, but what Google looks for whenever ranking a website, they look for content. You want to have as much authoritative content as possible. So on your homepage, you want to have at least a thousand words, and then each service page, you want at least 500 words of authoritative content. We'll take a look here. You can even go past those word counts too. The more words, the better. There's no such thing as too much. So right here, for example. So it's good you mentioned like $750 a week. You mentioned with the leasing. You want, to have a, you want to have as much information as possible about trucking too. Like that's what Google looks for. So another way, another thing you can do, you can make blogs, giving your thoughts and opinions on everything related to the trucking opinion. Like the more information you have about trucking, the better. You want to, like I said, you want to be that Wikipedia of trucking in the Staten Island or in New York area. Because right here, they have a lot of content. Like they're writing a lot. So that's what Google looks for. And then you see here, they have like a lot of other pages as well too. So that's a that's another thing that that helps them to rank and even location pages too like you can do new york new jersey connecticut if you serve those areas maybe you want to serve everybody in the country in the u.s so you can target specific cities by making location pages and to rank in the and but um 
having authoritative content is very essential, but just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing you'll need too to rank are backlinks. So backlink is when you put your website link onto another website, but not all backlinks are created equal, some are more powerful than others. Getting a website to the top of Google is similar to being a kid at school trying to rise up in popularity. Yeah, like a kid could have great looks and great personality, but what's the point if they're not getting those votes of confidence from their peers and the popular kids? Let's say, for example, the New York Times.com wrote an article about trucking, their well known site, and they mentioned you as one of the people to go for for financing and rentals. And they had your website link in there and they gave you a follow. Google would see that and be like, oh, the New York Times.com likes uh, the Truckers Brotherhood. We're going to move them up the rankings. Yeah, and you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto a new site called Joe's Trucking.com and they gave you a follow, Google will see them and be like, oh, who's Joe's Trucking? And they like the Truckers Brotherhood. We're going to leave the ranking the way it is. Their opinion doesn't mean much. We're going to go into a tool called Ahrefs. So here's an overview for uh, the, what Ahrefs does. It gives you an overview of how a website is doing in the search engine. So here is for uh, TD, uh, TTBNYC.com. So in your headline, you just mentioned Brotherhood. You want to mention like uh, Truckers Brotherhood. Yeah, the Truckers Brotherhood. And then after that, a hyphen, like commercial truck leasing, commercial truck rentals. You want to have some keyword rich terms in there. Right now, you're not appearing on any keyword searches. You have 17 backlinks. And in turn, there's your um, the visitors are listed at zero, and then the traffic's valued at zero. So when the traffic has value, it means that a website's producing revenue for that business. And for backlinks, it's not always about who has the most backlinks. It's all about having quality. It's all about the quality. You want to make sure you're linking up to as many sites that are relevant as possible to what you do. So let's take a look at some of your backlinks. Let's see. Um, Isto Group could be a good one. That looks like a good one. The Consolidator. The sites you want to be linked up to are like anything related to freight, transportation, trucking, logistics, New York, like Staten Island. Those are the ones you want. Now let's take a look here. Here's for... Um, Gabrielli truck. Here's their page about learn more about rental and leasing in New York. So this page appears on 98 keyword searches. They have three backlinks. And you see they get 27 visitors a month to that page. And their traffic for that page is valued at $51. So it's, they're producing revenue from that page. And, but um, we're going to take a look though too to see where their, their, their main page, what sites they're linking up to. So you can actually see your competitors are linking to and try to link up to the same sites. Let's just take a look to see what keywords they rank for. Like commercial truck rentals could be a good one. Search 100 times a month. The keyword difficulty is at 48. The higher the number of the keyword difficulty or density, the harder it is to rank. And they're position four, so they get a lot of traffic from there. So there's Gabrielli truck leasing a rental. You can technically run a Google ad for that keyword to try to take some of their traffic too. Like truck rentals, commercial truck rentals near me, that's a little more difficult. Like truck rental New York would be a good one. Search 100 times a month. Let's see, delivery truck lease, that could be a good one. Like truck rentals NYC. Like truck rental NYC, it's 300 searches a month. Even, let's see, refrigerated truck rental, if that's something you do too, that could be a good one. Like box truck rental, dump truck rental. Let's see, short term truck lease could be a good one as well too. We have box uh, truck rental Bronx could be a good one if you want to get people in the Bronx as well. Commercial truck lease agreement. Let's see, moving truck rental Bronx and why. So there's a lot of there's a lot you can do there with the keywords. And here's another thing too. Here's some of the backlinks they link. Here's some of the websites they link to. So like MapQuest and Yellow Pages, you can definitely get links from there. Uh, let's see, Yahoo, Dex knows you can definitely get one from there too. So it looks like oh the P Let's see, P-A-N-Y-N-J.gov, that, that gives, oh, they got a lot of, uh, that gives them a lot of juice too. If you get a, if you can get a link from like somebody like that too, that would be another good link. So like that's how you get higher up in the rankings by adding more authoritative content and getting more backlinks. If you want to rank in the map portion of Google, one thing you'll need are citations. Citations, the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. You want to make sure you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition won't always leapfrog you in the rankings. But what will help is if you keep adding authoritative content to your website as well as finding those strong, relevant backlinks. So I hope this was helpful and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.